Hi there and welcome to the NIT semifinals. Brad Nessler along with Dick Vitale. How will this matchup unfold between the LSU Tigers and the Ohio State Buckeyes? Number one is the star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. He can defend and he can score. He can give you both of those things on any given night. That's why he's a terrific player. The Buckeyes will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Buckeyes, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. Number one, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Secondly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now they'll bring it up. Trying to pack it inside. Controlling the ball. For the bucket. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. There's the trap. He attempts the three, makes it. Inside, number 31 receives the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The shooting guard handles the feed. Way off target. The small forward handles the pass. It sticks. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They'll work it around the arc. Double team now, Matt Angle. Buries the deuce. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They work it around the perimeter. Number two receives the pass. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. For three, off the rim and no good. Second chance coming up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 14 with the steal. Goes up for two. Up and in. Bed the low block. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. From left of the circle, way off target. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Number 21 picks up the foul. First team foul. He'll regroup the offense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Number 14 with a finger roll.
Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Ten on the shot clock. On the outside. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There they come with a double team to stop it. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Tries to get the D to bite. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. He gets the rejection. The Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Looking for a good shot. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. He puts up the tray, gets it to fall. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Good job defensively. They just don't get many openings. Fresh rate of basketball. Puts it up, looking for contact. <laughs> Tries one from three point land. He gets it to go. Adam, momentary look from three point land. Entry pass in the paint. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Ball handler's in trouble. There's the fake. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Takes it off him. They're off into transition. Tries for two. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. In the paint. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Can't get the shot to drop. And they get the turnover. There's a slam. Outside. Trying to draw the foul. Number 14 makes the finger roll. Look at that spacing. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. Number 45 is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The shot from the baseline. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Up and inside. 
Unloads. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Doesn't go. Number 14 with the foul. First team foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. High post screen, going to use it. Looking for a good shot. Number one is charged with the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The NIT is one of the greatest basketball tournaments of all time. Started back in 1938, and it's been a great tournament over the years. It has been, Brad. This tournament has given schools a great opportunity to play some pre- and postseason games. Quite significant in terms of team development. He unloads a three. Buried it. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets that one to fall. Thinks about the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have know, a great post play. you got a chance to really to win. Puts up the tray. He drains the bucket. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Ohio State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They're working around the perimeter. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's a double team. Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gets it back out. There's a bad pass right to the defender with a quarterback pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talent to guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Most of Ohio State's success came in the 60s, making it to three national title games. Hey, they only won one of those national title games, but they were definitely a powerhouse. He gets it to go. around the arc working it around the perimeter kicks it out there's the pick from left of the circle wow used to scream perfectly but the shot didn't go here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer shot was no good baby beautiful use of the screen though Was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Feeling good. The momentum is on their side and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Number one goes to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. He tries to knock down the three. Drains the shot. They work it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The Buckeyes will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for the foul, number 14 with a finger roll. Until he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. Jumps into the defender. LSU are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Jump hook from the low post. They still don't score. Break possibility coming. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And 
that and momentary look from three-point land. Oh, yes. There's a double team waiting there. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. High post screen. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. He shows the sweet touch. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries for two. Nice shot. Here's another look at the play. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. There's the trap. Off the rim and no good. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Takes away the pass. What a great strip. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Terrible execution on offense. Throws up the prayer. Great shot. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. At halftime, the Buckeyes are up by 12. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? My ally, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Ohio State really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. 2005-2006 marked quite an amazing year for both the men's and the women's basketball teams at LSU. Both teams went to the Final Four, which is really amazing for the school. I think it says a lot about the athletic department. Having both programs go that deep in the postseason is remarkable. That doesn't happen that often. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Up fake from the baseline. He's good for another score. 
Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They work the perimeter in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two, they really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. Dump it inside. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the elbow. He gets it to fall. They're working around the arc for the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills it from beyond the arc. He lets it go. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Fronts him first in and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. And off the mark. The shot from the baseline. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Gave it up. He looks for the bomb. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. From beyond the arc. Sinks it. Number two comes up with it. LSU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Number 21 takes it away. It's a fast break possibility. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Puts it up. In and out. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hat.
Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Now they work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Buckeyes have got to continue to get him the ball. Well, he's on fire. And a momentary look from three-point land. Makes it. Tries a three. He makes the shot. The Buckeyes lead by nine. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Number 14 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Here's a flash from the high post. He rejects it. Rejected! Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 7. He makes the block. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Tries for two. LSU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Double team now. Bad angle. Gets up to make the block. Here we go on the break. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket, you betcha. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. Gave it up. Launches the three. Gets it to fall. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Buckeyes lead by six. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. The skip pass is picked off. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. 
in the paint. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. The Buckeyes are known for their style of play, Dick. Well, when you play these guys, you have to be prepared physically. If not, you're in for a rude awakening. Stolen ball. For two, it sticks. And we got a whistle and a foul. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Way off target. Number 14 picks up the foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They're working around the arc. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. LSU have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. Dump it inside. Penetrates and kicks back. He's got an open look for the shot. There's the screen up on top. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Goes for the deep one. Buried it. On the outside. Picks off the pass. With a deep shot from outside. Drains it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's a double team. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Oh, yes. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. He nails the bucket. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. There's a double team waiting there.
fakes a jumper. He uses the shot fake. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The shooting guard with the ball. Sets a screen for his teammate. He gets the bucket to fall. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. Pump fakes. The power forward gets the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Rims out. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He shoots from outside. He gets the bucket. The Buckeyes will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Paint tries for two. LSU is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's the trap. For two. Easy one. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He looks for the bomb. He drains the shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Number one with the foul. Second personal foul. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free-throw line. Play well, created a foul opportunity. Makes the foul shot. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great defense. On the outside, the point guard gets the pass. He intercepts it. The center takes the pass. From way outside, Ohio State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Working it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tempo to game, really important here. You've got to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Too strong. Court pass. Number 14 is charged with the foul. Well, Nick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He puts up the tray. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Takes away the pass. He's money with a shot. Pressure on that basketball. The point guard takes the feed. Take it away. They get it out into transition. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. This is the point in the game where every play is a big play. Hey, with the seconds ticking away, you betcha, Brad. And no play is bigger than the steal. He goes to the line for the first time. Just like in practice. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Second shot is good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Looks at a three. Gets it to fall. You never know what's coming, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. 
Launches it. Can't put it down. We are OT bound. And it's not going to get any easier, baby. The heat's going to keep rising. Don't head for the exits yet. These teams are headed into overtime. Well, here we go. We head to overtime. Can make them work a little extra. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They're working around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Tries for two. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. He shoots from the top of the circle. He missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Pick up the defense here now. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They work it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. did a great job with the block shot and sinks it. They work the perimeter. Got a wide open look. They'll work it around the arc. Got a nice screen. He shoots from the baseline. He hits it. Show me that one again. Take some pride on a defensive end. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Gave it up. Here's a double team. He goes for the trifecta. Got it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He gets the shot to fall. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. The 
defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Shut up, Dick. Tightly guarded. Fakes the shot. Buries it. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. things up again. Shot clock is dead. Now they work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet judge. decided to go in another direction with things right here, did it? It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. And they come with a double team to stop it. He launches the bomb. Rims out. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Ohio State loses this one in overtime. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.